All right. Good morning, everyone. Listen, I have um, something to talk about today. There's a verse. It's very simple, very direct, and it clears up a lot of nonsense. And when I say nonsense, I mean nonsense that's going on with so many people today that are basically claiming in one way or another that they have some unique understanding of God's word that gives them license to do wicked things. Okay? There's this is more normal than it is abnormal at this point. There are churches everywhere that are teaching lies, absolute lies that are actually enslaving people in wickedness. And these are churches. There are groups that are different special interest groups that are claiming that they have, um, you know, figured out a way or they've figured it out intellectually that everybody forever is wrong, has been wrong, thousands of years of people following God and walking with God powerfully and and honestly were wrong. And now all of a sudden with, you know, this modern age and all of the new things around and the internet, they figured out a new way, okay? And I, I want to read this verse. It's from the book of 1 John, chapter 1. Verse 6, it says this. If we say we have fellowship with him and yet we walk in darkness, we are lying and not practicing the truth. Do you see how simple that is? If we say we have fellowship with him and yet we walk in darkness, we are lying and not practicing the truth. Now, it is very interesting when you understand even when he says we walk in darkness, when you look at the scriptural understanding of what darkness is, darkness is rebellion or rejection to the truth of God's word. Okay, so whenever somebody comes out and they say, hey, you know, it's okay. It's you that those are old fashioned ideas. You don't need to follow that. Just find the stuff that you like in in the Bible and, you know, that'll make you feel good and do that. Okay. The problem with that is, is it's a lie. Okay. It's a lie and it's absolutely evil. Okay. He's saying, if you reject God's word, if you choose to ignore what you know in God's word and continue to walk in darkness or that is sin, that is uh, rebellion against what God has laid out in his word. What you're doing is lying. First of all, it's a lie. You're advocating something that's opposite of truth. And you are not practicing truth. These are two different things. Okay. Um, when you're lying, that's when you're saying something that is blatantly not true. Not practicing the truth is when you know something that is true and you're intentionally not doing it. Both of these are actually really bad. And, and God knows when we're in this place. And I want to tell you something. It is super easy to talk yourself into ignoring God's word because you want to just listen to and follow the desires of your flesh. Okay, This is something everybody has to be on guard about. But we need to actually be very wise and very discerning not to go down that road ourselves. But also, when you see these groups that are coming out and saying this stuff, you need to understand what they're doing is actually really evil. Okay, they're, they're not trying to make people feel good, which is often the premise. You know, we, we just want everybody to feel accepted or loved or, or whatever. No. That's not the what they're doing. What they're doing is they're undermining God's word and they are walking people, holding their hand and walking them into the pit of hell. And it is super disturbing. It's very, very troubling. 
And listen, we need to know God's word and we need to live by it. And it's that simple. Okay? God is very faithful to convict us, to use his word to convict us, to direct us, and we need to be diligent to be obedient to him and his word as he as he works in our heart, as he changes our lives, okay? But when you when you know these groups, when you encounter a group or a person and, and they come out with, yeah, you know, listen, those old ideas, those are that's a bunch of, you know, yesterday's stuff. Just trust us. We figured it out. I even heard somebody say, we did the heavy lifting. We figured this out. Trust what we're telling you because that's what we're telling you is what it, it really should say in God's word. You need to run away from those people. That is an evil, evil, um, wicked, dark thing. So be on your guard. Use your discernment. Okay. If you are, if you're on in that group, if you're already listening to people that are saying, yeah, don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. Then you need to um, evaluate what's going on there and you may need to part company. Okay. Um, but anyways, that's, that's what I had to say to you today. I hope this helps you. May God richly bless you and direct you today. Again, if you would, please subscribe. If you haven't already, click that like button. And look, there's a share thing down there somewhere, a little arrow. If you know somebody that might benefit from this, then email it out or whatever. However you can share it, there's options there. Feel free to do that. And thank you so much. And may God richly bless you.